Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. And in this video, we will write a code to search an element from a list. So let's say if you have a list here and we have values, let's say 5, 8, 4, 6, 9, 2. And if you want to search for a particular value, and let's say you are searching for 9. Now how do we do that? So we do have certain functions in Python using which you can do that. But what if you want to do it by yourself? You want to do it manually using a loop. The general idea is if you want to search for an element, there are two scenarios here. The first scenario is the element which you're searching for is then the list. The second scenario is the element which you're searching for is not in the list. Let's go with the best scenario here. You're searching for nine and nine is then the list, right? Now, how do we check? So we have to run a loop and you will check for the each element. So let's say if you're searching for nine, you will compare nine with the first element of the list, which is five in this case. Since it is not matching, you will go for the next element. We'll compare that. If it, this is not matching, you will go for the next element. That's what you do. And you will do this till you find the element, right? Which is nine itself, which is the fifth element in the array with an index value four, of course, or the least. So let's do it. So the element which you're searching for is nine, right? So you want to search nine from this list. In fact, let me just, instead of having the name as array, let me just list. So we have a list and then we are searching for nine, right? Now you can use function here. You can say if search, so let's say search is a function which we are implementing. And in this search, you will pass two things. So you will pass a list and you will also pass a value which you're searching for. If the value exists, you will simply print found else you will print not found so basically if, if you are getting the value you will print found or you will say not found right now what is this search function is it inbuilt function of course not you can see we are getting error there so we had to define this function by ourselves and how do we define a function it's very easy you simply say def and the function name is search and in this search you have to pass two values you will pass a list and you will also pass the n value which is n or you can change the variable name as we know we can have any variable name now once you say you have this search function what you'll be doing here now, first of all, uh, we have to use a loop, right? We have to iterate from the first element to the last element. Now we can use a while loop here. We can use a for loop here. We have multiple options, right? Let's start with while. Now in a while loop, you also need a counter, right? You can count the number of elements. And the way you can use a counter by saying I, normally we can use any variable name, but I makes sense when you have a counter for the loop, right? So we are saying I is equal to zero. And the next thing we need is let's use a loop here. So we will say while and we have to go till where so you have to go to the last value so how do you know the last value so you will simply say length of list now if you can observe i'm using less okay i'm not using less than equal to the reason is this is a list right index value will start with zero so let's skip it length of list and then you will simply check for each value so you're going from the first element to the last element right you're using a loop here so you will check if if the value in the list you will use a counter i is equal to n okay so the moment you find the value you will stop it right so if it is equal to n uh, you can use oh how do we say that we have found it so we can simply return true so we can simply return true the moment you find it and that's it at the end you will return false so what we're trying to do here is the moment you find the value you will simply return true otherwise you will return false that's it that's the code we have written here now will it work so what exactly we are doing is we are comparing with the each value if this matching with the list or the value which you're searching for is in the list it will simply return true otherwise after the loop ends it will return false right that's what we are doing let's verify if this working let's right click and say run demo and oh we have not got any output but why is it because I'm using semicolon? Let's move that. Let's print something here. Let's print. It is not even going in this inside the list. You know why? Because we are not incrementing the value. We missed that. We have to say i is equal to i plus one, right? So we are not changing for the value for the i. Just keep comparing with five. Uh, we do not do that. So let's increment. So we have done that. Let's run this code. And you can see it says found and found here. So let's remove this found here from here. And now let's verify again. Is it working? So yes, you can see it says found. So the value is there, right? The value is there. In the, in the list what if I give a new value what if I'm searching for 10 and you can see we don't have 10 in the list and the moment you run this code you can see it says not found so we got the code so what we are doing is we are comparing the value with each value the moment you find the value you will simply return true otherwise at the end if it is not returning it will simply return false right this is where it's happening but we still have one problem here you can see I'm simply printing that we have found the value but we are not saying where it is right we have to also maintain the position and we are not doing that so what i will do here is i will say uh, let, let me take a variable which is pause and by default the value for pause will be minus one because normal index will start with zero when i say minus one that means we have not got the value so we can actually debug it but time let's keep it minus one 
And here, the moment you find the value, let me also reserve that position which of i. Okay, so whatever value of i is, I will save that in pause. But there's one issue. Now, if you have seen my video on global variable and local variables, this pos is a global variable, right? And this pos here inside the function becomes a local variable. And whenever you change a local variable, it will not impact the global variable, right? Because I want to use that position in outside the function. So I want to use it here. So I will say found at and I want to print the position as well. The problem is when I change the pause value here, it is changing the local variable, not the global variable. In order to access the global variable, if you remember, we simply use a globals as a function and then we can give this pos as the because we can have multiple global variables right we have to mention which global variable i'm talking about so that's pos in this case now it seems good i will simply run this code and you can see it says oh it says not found because we are searching for 10. let's go back to 9 and let's run this code and you can see it says found at 4 so the index value for 9 is 4 so you can see it is 0 it's one, two, three, and four. So ninth is sort of fourth, right? Normally, as humans, we start the value from one, two, three, four, right? So we can also do pause plus one because actually in human way, nine is at position five, right? So let's do a plus one there. And you can see it says found at five. So that's how you do a linear search. It's so easy, right? Now, when I say linear search, that means we also have other techniques, right? One of the best way to search this one is binary search in fact we also have binary search binary search is faster than linear search in some ways but then it has something which you have to mention so in the next video we'll talk about that but in this video we have to do some more changes now don't you think for loop is better than while loop uh, why to use while loop here we can use a for loop as well right in fact that will be your assignment so what i want you to do is convert this code into for loop there will be only one or two changes uh, you have to do this change because instead of using a while loop you have to use a for loop and in for loop we don't do increment so this is only change you have so do that and you can comment your answers in the comment section or you can also share, share the dropbox link if it is working or github link uh, so that's it everyone that's how you do linear search because we are searching for each and every element from start uh, in the next video we'll talk about a binary search so that's it from this video everyone bye, -bye.